I've been feeling a little down in the dumps for the past mm, 26 years. <laughs> Great. He's a cute little start. weirdo. That's all you have to know. <laughs> no, he's very lovable. I like him. He's Me cute. too. Tyler Gaka. He's also as Ghost Honey on other things. So I think most, we all agree that he's 9'7 and self pres blind, right? But we're mm -hmm. trying to figure out if he's 9 or 7 core and then his heart fix. And some people, I don't think anyone's guessed three fix for him. Most Should people we think two or four? Some people did in the in the Discord a while ago. He's okay. he's not yeah. annoying enough to be a seven. I don't think. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's nine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the various like soothing quality, like the way he talks, is, um, is not too sharp. I guess he's um kind of like calm and, um, I don't know. It's yeah. like. He's trying not to wake somebody up from a nap who's sleeping nearby. Yeah, he that's does. a good analogy. Uh, mm -hmm. Based on his his pictures here, he looks kind of innocent. So mm -hmm. that's so true. Like oh, this one's... Eyes. I got a DM recently that said, "I respect the grind, but fame changed you." And my first thought was, "Wow, you think I'm famous?" <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much. Right. So is it like a social sexual or is that a two fix or bull? <laughs> yeah. Like this is why I think he's Where's a 974 and not a 972 is because he's seems SP blind and that is two E. Like that is more like mm -hmm. spiky and like twee and shit. And I think that's why he seems like he has a two fix because he's mm -hmm. got something dark. Like he, I don't think he's triple positive. Yeah, sure. There is a lot of stuff about like goblins and darkness and like some of the, his art, you know, has more, um, yeah, that more dark stuff. I feel like I can picture him in my head saying no, you know, which feels very, you know what I mean? I'm sure there's videos where he's just like, no, you know what I mean? Like the four, like, that's not it. Yeah. Not um, his art school critique video was pretty funny. Like, Oh yeah, I remember like that one. On TikTok or whatever it was. He's so hot. <laughs> yeah, he is. Almost <laughs> DJ looking. Honestly, yeah. but I think whether he has a four or two, it's definitely a three wing. Because there's yeah, oh, I think yeah. that maybe like the DJ look is like social sexual. For a nine core to be so consistently productive and like. <laughs> he's doing so well you know what I mean but then yeah. you also Emily like you are very like on top of your like brand <laughs> that you're working on too um very diligent um, I think I think it also like I've thought about this a lot because there are a lot of famous like nine seven fours right it's like I think you have to be mm -hmm. in your element and like really like tapped into like your fucking magic zone if you're yeah. able to like make money or whatever doing that special thing I noticed that's 
that's when like at least my trifix tends to like be successful otherwise it's like they fucking hate their life um where yeah, i think like you have a three point. fix you can like adapt to it more and i don't know about two but i feel like he's in his zone he's just making shit yeah. for yeah, tiktok and getting paid like that is literally the dream like he's just making <laughs> shit all day and being himself yeah. like yeah, his dream is dreaming amazing. and then like making it. videos about his dreams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where do all of my hair ties go? Because yeah. I buy them in packs of 40. <laughs> it's like, who's taking them? <laughs> Hello? Down here, mother. <gasps> Ooh, what are you? Hello, mother. Oh, I am nobody's mother. You created me, mother. I am the goblin of all lost things. Are you the one stealing all of my hair ties? You. Every time you lose a hair tie or hope, or one of those tiny ankle socks that seem to get swallowed with every wash. I hate that they're the same price as regular socks. It's so stupid. It's like I'm getting a third of the material. I am stronger. The whole best. Okay, I'm gonna go. More whole. Don't touch my stuff. It was just a goblin. A lot of monster under the bed stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like he also does a lot of like frustration humor. Like he's, it's like just him being annoyed at stuff or, mm -hmm. but I mean, I don't know. Do you guys type him as nine wing one or nine wing eight? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning nine wing one, but I don't yes, know. Yes, me too. Thinking... Yes. He seems very refined to me. Yeah, for sure. I like the pink, um, the pink van one. That, yeah. Yeah, that was so I, funny. Let's do it. Is that an ice cream truck? It's like two a.m. Hello. Hello. Do you have any of those sad SpongeBob ice creams? Ooh, actually, I don't have any ice creams. What? I have sunglasses. <laughs> Oh, um, can I see the sunglasses? <laughs> no. That's the no I was remembering. <laughs> a little more <laughs> in the frame that doesn't best flatter your face. You should take, uh, oh. <laughs> these ones. Okay. Okay, yeah, these are nice. I know. How much? How much what? How much money for the sunglasses? You can just trade me something personal that you deem worthy of the same value. Um, oh, I have this little owl figurine. <gasps> Sold. Gimme, 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 gimme. Please. Bye. Thanks for the sunglasses. Thank you for your business. <laughs> Is this that... SP blind to me? <laughs> yes, totally. I think he's um, social sexual. I know there's like maybe some people that maybe sexual social. I just see so much like, I don't know, it seems more sin flow than contra flow. And also like a social nine vibe compared to a sexual nine vibe, which is kind of different. Very seems like sexual nines want to like kind of, you know, be mysterious and um, yeah. I don't know, just have a little bit more like mystique. I'm just using words about mysterious, but it just seems yeah. different. Than, he seems more yeah. cute than open. I feel like he's flirting with me all the time. Like he's watching. <laughs> I guess With... that's the power of SP blindness. So for like type comparisons too, I was just looking at some stuff, thinking about other social sexual nine wing ones. And like another ha, huh, it's potentially Michael Jackson um, compared to like Jeff Goldblum, who is triple positive. Um. And I, it does kind of, I am kind of like leaning towards the uh, trifix instead, just because there's so much more like, um, I don't know, like kookiness, whereas like, yeah, it seems like fantasy. triple positive is a little bit more grounded or something. Yeah. There is lots of fantasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool, yeah, it's kind of a weird more Michael jackson -y. Like, I feel like two, like if you have a two fix and you're social sexual, you're going to feel like and seven you're gonna feel kind of like rapey so <laughs> when he doesn't feel like that <laughs> yeah. like you like thomas said it's like there's a flirt but it's not like <laughs> yeah like you're gonna like, like my finger jeff in your butt is, isn't like <laughs> jeff goldblum like that isn't yeah he like he's like totally <laughs> like you wake up and he's licking your eyeball or something you yeah. 
making <laughs> pictures from very, very close. I love you. <laughs> he would just like walk up behind you and start giving like a back rub or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, or I don't think he would do that. No, I would like it if he did that, but Dr. even just the name Ghost Honey does seem like kind of a social sexual huh, kind of name. Okay, so his name is Ghost Honey, but that, yeah, his like username is. <laughs> is it this? Chaos, like that does sound like again, like nine, seven. <laughs> if you can't summon the flames directly from Hellstorm, what is mine? <laughs> I don't get much of like other people coming up, like him in relation to other people. He sometimes m- mentions his partner. Yeah, but sometimes he's with his partner mm-hmm. in his videos. Yeah, but my point is, like, I feel like a two fix tends to be. Ah, like, yeah, that's true. That's true. Really yeah. other focused and like. There, you make a very good point, though. It's true. And, like, the four, seven, nine trifix is pretty, like, narcissistic, but the nine, if you're like a nine, seven, four, you're going to be the most likable of the narcissists, kind of. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah. The most like, likable kind of narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of his videos are just about mm-hmm. his weird ideas that he brings into. Um, yeah. He like realizes yeah. his weird ideas, which is kind of like self focused. Yeah. And, the, yeah, and also, yeah. he's like very bohemian in a way, you know, like his whole aesthetic and stuff, like his mm-hmm. style, the way he dresses and stuff. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Kind of Had bohemian. like this, the ha huh quality. Yeah. Is, and- is that a ha huh thing to be bohemian? yeah it's like a little bit like they're kind of easy to spot once you kind of get used to it eh? it's like oh that person's probably a dj oh that person's like i mean it becomes almost so like it's so archetypal that it Mm -hmm. is so cringe like to me personally i'm like oh like i hate it sometimes when it's like oh i like look like yeah (laughs) yeah like i do right now (laughs) i definitely get the nine seven stem especially like I think when I first started to recognize that it's it was usually around like the DJ trifix, but mm-hmm. like I I get some of that from him, but it's not quite DJ. Which yeah, it's probably mm-hmm. the the heart fix being a little bit different, like different. Yeah, but the... but, yeah, the heart fix is definitely less if if it's uh is if, it, if it's four fixed, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because he has totally obviously true. has a lot of like extroversion, you know, putting himself mm-hmm. out there like this and sure. the social sexual, like, you know, oriented towards other people, but not in the same way as a two fix is. Yeah. So he's like a yeah. soft seven. <laughs> he feels very seven to me, mm-hmm. but it, he's like very soft. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe if it's like his, uh, his, his first fix or no, second fix, you know, like the second place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it influences. Yeah, yeah. If he's a nine. His hair is so good. His hair is three. Bucks, I know. But... Oh, his <laughs> hair, <right? laughs> Amazing. And his eyebrows. Just like in this video, I'll play it. I can just see him moving so much. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah. Hello? Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I'm you. Ah. Like, from two days in the future. You're not me. <laughs> You're some sort of smooth-faced man-baby. Exactly. <laughs> Put the shaver down. But I'm bored. Then go read a book. <laughs> no. You're gonna like it for two days, and then you're gonna get really sad about it. Okay, fine. I won't do it. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, out of my room. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's my room too. No. Good talk. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> no one can help us now, you beautiful fool. <laughs> that does seem like a lot of frustration humor <laughs> kind of stuff again. Like the, yeah. Like, I don't like it and then changing it and then I don't like that either. Like <laughs> it kind of makes sense to me that he would be like, yeah, like a nine wing one with seven four, like a one seven four adjacent <laughs> uh then yeah. like 172 oh yeah that's a good point what is the yeah. 174 what are those trifix names do they have I don't remember but to me it's like a lunatic sort of um 
I think people called it that. I can't remember. I was trying to come up with names a while ago. That one was like maybe the lunatic asylum or something, but um, but he does have a Mad Hatter kind of quality too that I think oh, is yeah. four seven nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's um, it, so he'd be adjacent to being triple frustration. Yeah, which you can kind of see like in that refined um, quality of his. Well, we could watch this video where he gives an apartment a tour, <laughs> apartment tour. Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, and like, cause I think his partner shows up too. So we could also see him like. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I just realized um, I filmed an apartment tour and I realized I never shared with you the final drive from Parks, Arizona to Los Angeles. We had planned on that last day of the drive to stop at Calico, which is like a little ghost town. It's actually like pretty commercialized. I think they said there's not even a ghost there, but um, we were so tired and so hot and so excited just to be in the new apartment that we just drove straight here from Arizona on the last day of the drive. But I have some footage of that Airbnb and I have a little bit of footage of the moment we arrived in Los Angeles and pulled up to our new apartment. So I'll show that before the apartment. Thanks for watching. I wanted to pause it already because he said the thing about, oh, it's actually kind of commercialized. Seems a little for fix ish And then you can also see, seems like a little self-conscious, even though he obviously has the camera on him a lot. So maybe it just shows like his withdrawn nature, you know, and a social thing of like, just like being aware that people are watching him. He's like playing with his hat and stuff. Rose, I can't wait for you to shower. To mark my territory. Yeah. <laughs> I think this partner might be down. Later. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to our new apartment. <laughs> Closer. Closer. Don't be shy. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to our new apartment. I'm so happy that you're here. <laughs> it's a lot smaller than the last place. But also we got rid of about half of our stuff. So everything fits pretty well. This is... The entryway. This is our living room, and if I'm being honest, this is also our dining room where we eat. How and I usually just sit on on the floor, crisscross applesauce, and eat on this table because we like to watch TV. Also, this couch has been doubling as my bed. It's really hot in LA right now. We moved during a heat wave. The AC unit is really small in the window, and it doesn't reach the bedroom, so I've been sleeping. I like their aesthetic. It's nice, Over here we very well designed. Our bookshelves, <laughs> our books. Should I read every book title? No. <laughs> Maybe 19 out of 20. Stylized M dash E dash A dash N dash Cup, 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 cup. I'm just a hoarder. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> let's, let's do a wall tour. I've shown these three little paintings a lot because I don't have a lot of artwork to show. But these were like the three houses I grew up in. Somebody said I should do one for every apartment I've lived in, but... But it's just, we rented, we didn't buy it. <laughs> apartments are like too oh. transitional in my life. Too short. Too short term. Also, I've lived in like seven different apartments. I don't want to do that many paintings. This is tree from my childhood home. It used to be in our old bedroom. Now it's above the TV. That's a dead butterfly, 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 that's a dead butterfly. Those might be moths. That's a dead butterfly, that's a dead butterfly, that's a dead butterfly, that's a dead butterfly, that's a dead butterfly. That's a dead deer. This is a unicorn painting. Get a close shot of that because that's really nice. Look how they're just glazing in the distance. I love the mood, I love the ambiance. This one I broke today, this morning. It's really sad. So I we noticed that the frame is actually like black electric tape and I used a command strip to hang it and it started to sag. And so I fixed it and hung it again. And then today I noticed it was still sagging. So I fixed it and put it back up. And then like three seconds later it fell. Sad. This is my son. So like, I don't know if you want to pausing for a second. Yeah. Like, it's like 
trying to like look at whatever his like self image would be, even if it's like last, right? It's like I'm not seeing like two um, kind of stuff happening here. Although I don't know what that would even really be. Like this is where we have all of our friends and we make each other lentils, fuck, whatever. Um, and I'm not really seeing like competency. Like like here's what I'm good at. Like all these things I'm like my status. Yeah. yeah. Shit. It's more like oh, and then I build all these dead moths and it's like I'm weird and I broke the picture and then I fixed it but then it broke again like here's my yeah. fucking skull and like all this shit so it does seem more like a presentation of like his weird little collections and stuff like, yeah so true that is very true yeah the uh, also a little impish he, he feels a little impish to me like a little trickster you know I like that oh the yeah totally that. energy um yeah. The paintings might be like you could see that as like a three thing of like I'm good at painting, but it felt more like this is something that's like important to me and this like yeah. everything is like a symbol of yeah some yeah. sort you know as like some all, symbolic yeah significance and also yeah. it's not like a, a famous painter or something you know it's like stuff that represents him and his inner fantasy world so it's more like triple fantasy. Mm -hmm. very self-specific yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and him being like I don't want to do seven more paintings <laughs> you know, like mm -hmm. that resistance to like more work for himself um just like, and the maybe... apartment those apartments weren't special enough as well <laughs> yeah and his like self narrative mm -hmm. yeah I'm gonna skip forward a little bit because I saw him buy something for like a long time, so it might be interesting. It's too hot though. I saw some cute hats with the dogs on the WAL kit. I'll see you when I get older. Mm -hmm. Love peaches, love deers. I'm gonna live forever. You'll be bald. I won't be bald though. I will have a lot of hair. Actually, that's very rude because I'm gonna have a lot of hair. Um, this is my painting, Crybaby. I have never hung my own art on the walls. Is that for sale? No. Name the price. So. $2,000. Um, Whoever wants to buy this painting, bid under this video. Starting price $2,000. Every $10 if you want to bid. Thank you so much. <laughs> I wonder if you have three things. Is it the like the, also, the like, face, the letter? Oh, notice the pattern. And I hate also falling into it too, but like Seven Nines fucking love their fucking mermaid colors. They're like cotton candy. <laughs> colors it's like every seven nine i think <laughs> yeah. <It's> true <laughs> what does it say cry baby yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that maybe it's two fix <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think it's like sosx maybe just like yeah. flashy glittery yeah 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 for sure to send it flow for us <laughs> yeah <laughs> Let's see what he says about it. And the glitter work is a little sloppy. I want to redo it and do it like really nice. Just so busy with like the uh, flavor mm -hmm. I definitely got an A on this painting. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe a minus. Mm -hmm. And here, the bathroom. It's really gross, really tiny. We still have a shower curtain. Um, the only good thing is the window, but it's not the time yet. This is that rainbow thing. Again, he's so focusing on the negative of everything. Like, mm -hmm. I paint all my painting, I'm gonna like still fix my painting, but I'm too busy. But like in my bathroom, small and I hate it. Like it does seem cool, sexy. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of frustration there. Oh my god. Oh. And we the got Rambo. it for free. It's expensive. Yeah. I looked it up last night. It's like $20 a sheet. But it makes the most beautiful rainbow right here in the bathroom when it, the sun is coming in. Um, that's Salem's litter box. Someone stole the first one. I ordered it and it got here too fast before we even arrived in LA. Someone stole it. I hope they are happy with it. But Chewy.com sent me another one for free. Not a sponsor, not an ad, just thanks Chewy.com for sending me another free one. Uh, excuse me. This is the bedroom. 9-7 burp. <laughs> <laughs> it's too wet. He's not perhaps another 7-fix confirmed. 
thing I think I saw Crocs. <laughs> I feel like every seven and seven fix I know has Crocs, like including myself. So. You do? Oh my god. I have you like knock that... off Crocs even worse. <laughs> you think that the SOSP would overcome that, but I guess not. <laughs> They're comfortable. They're so comfortable. Although right now I've switched to like um these like ugly fucking things from Costco that I just flop around in. Do you wear socks with them? <laughs> no, I just wear them all around the house like 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 summer slippers is what yeah. <gasps> I love Samia. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is an interview. Um uh, you like Samia. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it came out earlier this year. What is Samia? What's her music like? Or their music? I don't know. I feel like nine fix music for sure. Uh-huh. That seems really vibey. <laughs> this one's interesting the last article he found himself thinking about was this thing called the killing stone a gigantic and ancient rock that's supposed to hold an 11 lint thousand year old fox spirit <laughs> i like nine seven stuff and maybe some four i don't know um i think it's like when you have like the two positives in front of the four it it's more just like dipping into like dark and absurd like I also think like four seven nine the trifix is like um has like a thin grasp of reality do you know what I mean and like he kind of seems like he's just sort of like no 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 I probably amplified with social sexual or sexual social but it's like he just seems kind of like I'm living in my own planet like you know yeah oh yeah for sure very yeah, like yeah. airy fairy and also attracted to other people of similar typings like um Florence and the machine he said he's been a fan for a long time isn't she probably a huh as well yeah, she's the social yeah. self has seven wing six four nine I think okay four, yeah. Nine, four. yeah I could see that um <clears throat> fantasy watched mm -hmm. both seasons of euphoria recently avoids reddit at all costs <laughs> Um, uh, last book. Picture, he's like, like that confirms he's a nine over a seven because <laughs> like uh nines are like no this is disturbing my peace and sevens are like i am being fed by like this horrifying <laughs> reddit reality i'm like addicted to reddit that's why i'm saying that mm -hmm. and it says he doesn't go there because it hurts his feelings so oh. <laughs> sensitive sensitive nine boy yeah yeah <laughs> He was reading this book recently, um, A Marvelous Light by Freya Marska. That yeah. looks gay. I'm going to add it to my list. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's a, oh, I don't know. He said it's a slow burn, um, real do... slow burn gay romance. Hmm? Oh. Are you going to read it to feel closer to him? <laughs> Paris I'll read it to escape. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder do you think like do you think the certain stackings enjoy romance more than others I like do not read romance anything I do yeah it's hmm, like a question and supposedly we're the same stacking um yeah, yeah. Hmm? maybe it's a maybe stackings but could be like heart fix or something like that I'm not sure I used to read more romance but like I love it in shows you know and um we we're watching the witcher and there's a certain romance that I really like in it I'm just like waiting for certain scenes like to see them together and stuff like that I don't know what that is though maybe it's yeah. just <laughs> also they're just very attractive people mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Good looking folks. <laughs> they don't look human. Yeah. They're kind of not. Um, yeah, that annoyed me about the show, actually. That that was like the reason why I don't didn't want to see it anymore because it was like too, you know, like everybody's too polished and too pretty. And I'm yeah. like, no, in this environment, you wouldn't look like this. And then I get frustrated and I can't follow the story anymore. So. <laughs> well, Yennefer didn't look like that at first. <laughs> no, it's kind of like messed up. Like the okay. hump back and stuff. Yeah. I honestly like. I need to watch shows that have hot people. Like, I feel like if there's no hot people for me to like sort of project onto, then I like 
start losing interest in what I'm watching because it's just like I'm just watching these unattractive people do things like I <laughs> okay that's true that's, that's true but not everybody can be like too polished because you know that's like not I don't know yeah I think I know what you mean Shanti where like yeah. they can be so attractive in like mm -hmm. a um a sort of mainstream cookie cutter way that it's just boring yeah and there it's also like yeah there's like nothing to really like hook onto to like set them apart yeah like some, sometimes yeah. they even all look the same and it's like I, I don't yeah. even know who this character is was it this character or the other yeah yeah um, I know it's like uh, with vampire diaries I also have this problem <laughs> oh, with vampire diaries everybody looks the same you know like too polished for high school I'm like no no you guys don't look like this they're all like 30 years old yeah with fake every single girl has fake eyelashes and yeah yeah I don't know I have like a thing though like I can't I because when I'm watching a romance thing if it's like an imbalance of hotness I'm just like either grossed out or it's like I, this is not believable to me it's distracting <laughs> can't sustain you out disbelief. of it you know it's like a fantasy show or something and that's the thing that you get hung up on like <laughs> these characters are not on the I same I not fall in love with her I don't <laughs> buy it no bitch hit the gym like <laughs> i don't care if they're werewolves or not this is yeah. not realistic <laughs> i do not buy it <laughs> yes i only buy authentic werewolves yeah. buy what i need my werewolves to be waxed thank you <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine just like a hairless giant dog running around oh like, that's so beautiful like a werewolf genitals <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the last thing it seems like we're pretty pretty feeling his his type of <laughs> you know, social sexual 911 974. Um, but I thought this last thing would be kind of interesting. His has a podcast called Ghost Honey's Dream Machine, and he uh I guess he like takes people's I haven't listened to it at all yet. Did you listen to it, Shanti? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. It was fun. <laughs> It was a little strange. It was like a little <laughs> bit of a, a inside of a kid show or something. Like I got like this feeling that I'm like inside of a kid show or inside of a kid's mind. So mm, I don't yeah. know. He does yeah. have this Thank like you, uh, Peter Pan energy to him. Yeah, for sure. Totally. Yeah, I think that's like self innocence, self press blind plus the traffic itself. But yeah, there's like so much. Um, whimsical mm -hmm. stuff yeah the, but I think the podcast he takes people's stories about their dreams and maybe his own and then make something from it oh cool like what do you guys think seven wing six head or seems seven wing six to me oh mm -hmm. yeah yes he does yeah, yeah. for sure um, Not seven wing eight feels heavier mm -hmm. and more realistic also like more mm -hmm. more um I don't know like solace, like, uh -huh. you know? Yeah, seven wing six, and then probably four wing three. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, nine, nine, nine wing. wing. Yeah, nine wing one, for sure. Six and one and three. Mm -hmm. Overlay. Now I want to look at his art. That's Karen, isn't Karen. it? So Karen overlay? Or... Yeah. yeah, Karen overlay. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that I recently noticed about myself that I also have a Karen overlay. I think, yeah, really? I think I should like accept this fact that I'm like broken like this. Oh, I thought you, so you don't think you have a nine wing eight fix? It's a no. nine one fix. No, yeah. I want, I want to have a nine, a nine one, uh, nine wing eight fix, but I don't think I have it. <laughs> uh. A yeah. little extra frustration. Yeah, I hate a it. A lot of his paintings are just himself. I love it. And he's even got the snake, the sexual snake. Ooh, fancy. Incredible. This is so funny. Oh, God. I love that. Honey, so funny. Very bright colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's like super 790 color scheme. Mm -hmm. The gradients. 
that the, you're right it is like mostly him and then like snakes and is that, is that glitter or what is that i don't know it's kind of that one's pretty oh, I like nice. the color scheme there so wet he's like in a lush bed you know like lush. <laughs> and I feel like oh yeah drawing yeah. the bath bomb <laughs> yeah yes i love them like a magical oh, bath like oh interesting oh. Yeah, it's very muted, nostalgic. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like you found it in an old box at a rummage sale yeah. or something. But, yeah, but now I'm like thinking about his house, and he also had like little trinkets of like nostalgic stuff, you know, mm -hmm. like a reoccurring thing. Maybe it's like melancholy a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, I think the nine, nine can be very nostalgic. Yeah, that too. That too. Like when you have, um, you know, a medium like painting, you have so much more uh, possibilities and stuff. Whereas like, you know, just taking picture thing, pictures of things, you have like what's right in front of you. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, there's a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, the whole, um, I don't know, there's lots of pictures of like, there were some pictures of, what is it called? Statues and museums and stuff. So it kind of goes back to that four wing, three fix, nine wing, one refinement, like um, almost social self press, but not quite. Like obviously it's a little different, but. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking that it seemed almost SOSB. Yeah. <clears throat> there's a stuff on it. Seems what do you say, Larissa? Oh, and just that he has like soft, like filters over everything where it seems that mm -hmm. seems like a tiny move. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Of a reality TV contestant that has to create drama to remain relevant in the competition because they don't have a tragic backstory. <laughs> I would say that I'm friends with everybody in the house. I really can't stand drama, but I don't like Steve. I find him extremely hostile and arrogant and condescending. And I can tell he sees me as a big competition, and that doesn't bother me at all because honestly, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win, so. Hey buddy, uh, the producer said we could each have one slice of pizza for dinner and it is <laughs> bitchin', uh, but it's going fast and I know you hate pepperoni. Do you want me to save you a slice of cheese? Sure, thanks. Cool. <laughs> Unbelievable. Did you, all, did you all catch that? So I'm sitting here doing my confessional and Steve takes it upon himself to essentially kick the door in and start verbally attacking me. Bitch, you. And not gonna <laughs> lie, it cut me really deep because I, I'm sorry, because growing up, I was bullied a lot by my imaginary friends. And I've actually, I've actually never told anyone that before. I'm basically hysterical. <laughs> I said that I don't really have a choice and I need to confront him because I'm not going to tolerate being bullied. Steve, can we talk like adults for a second? Yeah, what's up? I just wanted to say you are the most insecure person I've ever met. What's wrong, buddy? I wish physical harm upon you. I do. Listen, I know the competition is stressing you out. I'm not gonna let you get inside my head. I don't hate you, uh, but I can leave you alone if that's what you want. You're disgusting. Get these cameras out of my face. Wow. <laughs> Classic Steve. Um, attacking me in front of everybody. I hate you. I want you out. The competition. <laughs> I didn't even know why you came me on. <laughs> I only thought we were friends. When I get them or not, I guess it's just competition. This is my impression of a reality TV. <laughs> This is like LARPing as a six. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was funny. Yeah, he's but they're like yeah. <clears throat> also social confirmed. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like only socials that even give a fuck about reality shows. <laughs> is social sexual the, the best friend mm -hmm. stacking? Is that what that is? I what does that mean? Like the one that's like, you're like, I wish they were my friend or like they give out that vibe of like the kind of person you want to be friends with. Cause I feel like I understand it a little bit better now. If that's 
I think so. I think that's kind of like, um, I see that because, you know, they want to be, it's almost like the one-to-one stacking, isn't it? Like, you know, they're, I mean, I think social self-rest can be that in some ways, um, but yeah. I, think I, I always thought it, it was the sort of socially promiscuous one where they'll just like foot off and mm. like they're less likely to, <clears throat> like if you go out with someone um, like to a club or something, like they'll just be like, okay, bye. And then they'll like go off and, you know, mingle. Whereas as an SOSP going out, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm here with my friends and my crew. And you know, that like the, the social, there's like a, a duty to like stay in the group or something that. Yeah. I didn't, um, I didn't mean it like that. I meant, yeah, I meant it more like the social butterfly, like the one you want to be friends with and who you want to like invite you to everything like sort of that like you want oh. to be the crew or whatever but yeah social self prez is I don't know I don't, although I don't relate to what you're saying like you you want to be friends with them but then you can never quite like hold on to them is yeah, that that's what you're yeah. more exciting yeah like right. I feel a uh, social sexual like they can feel like they are uh, they are like a, uh like uh friends or like they are for a moment but then they're pretty scattered as well so it's like they can be connecty one moment but then it's like okay mm. on to the next flower yeah mm -hmm. especially with like seven nine they're probably like super flaky people mm -hmm. yeah it feels like i don't i think i have limited experience but my sense is that it's almost like on the other side of like the, on the receiving end of an SOSX attention, it, it does feel good in the moment, but then it's almost like I'm replaceable to them and they can just mm. find, you know, another flower to get their, <clears throat> their social nectar from. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, but, that's but how I feel about it also. <laughs> Sexual social as well. Yeah, sexual social also has this a little bit for me. So maybe it's like the SP in the in the mix that is maybe it's just SOSP then where we care about specific Aww. person. No, <laughs> I know, but, I'm, but I'm a seven too. So because like mm. so I guess seven pseudo social sexual though. So like I like having I like having people to choose from. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I think I like that, like, but people don't feel as replaceable in the same way. Yeah, I don't mean like we're interchangeable, maybe. I don't mean replaceable, yeah. More loyal, Not, maybe. I think I actually I think this was actually clarifying for me between like four and two. Like seeing how like it's so he's kind of self-centered in what he makes versus I, I I think that was a big part of like how I'm differentiating it in my head about like four and two. Mm -hmm. It's like self versus other um focus so yeah, yeah it I think it was good yeah I think so too and I came on the call thinking he would be seven wing six but I don't know as we just kept talking it was like nine wing one made more sense because he's just not as oh, for not, four. yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah I think that I don't know where where what exactly switched me but there was just this there's certain nine energy I started seeing more than seven so like I yeah. really think too like sevens especially mm -hmm. probably social sexuals and uh they're like just extra annoying like and I'm saying this as a seven but it's <laughs> like especially if it's like a guy it's like the personality just becomes so fucking loud and obnoxious I was gonna say he doesn't seem evil enough to be a seven core but <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's too love more. Mm. Thank yeah. you, Christina. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. There's so much more, like not the evil part, but the yeah, how social sexual sevens can be a little bit like overbearing, you know, mm -hmm. like um Miley Cyrus or you know, that type of like there's so much assertiveness with seven, you know, being an assertive type. Whereas he's just more like gentle and um, yeah. like, like he'd be way messier yeah. and just spilly. Like, yeah, <laughs> like, I think there's like a, a couple or at least one social sexual seven that just from the Internet that I 
um, have limited interactions with, and that's kind of the case of just like, okay, I like you as a person and all, but like, can you just like dial down a little bit? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's like something weird, like from like learning my Enneagram type was actually seven. Then I be started becoming super self conscious of like when I'm being a seven, and I'm like, holy shit, sevens are like so annoying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially. Like, Tone it down, Larissa. <laughs> yeah, and especially when you have like another seven in the mix, you know, if you <laughs> meet like in person, it's like, oh God. You see parts of yourself that are reflected that you don't like yeah. to see. Yeah, I think so. Or you guys feed off of each other's energy too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and yeah. it could also be that. fun, but also very draining. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, tup, 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 mm -hmm. and then you, yeah. yeah. I noticed some of my sevens I don't like, and then... I'm like, ew, I'm like, is that what my energy's like too? It's like horrifying. But then when you meet like a seven that you click with, yeah, you're like off on your own planet together having like a party that's like no one else is like a part of. Because <laughs> no one's like high enough frequency. Like you're just like, no one can keep up with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, but What's I like the difference that. between sevens you like and don't like? I hate trashy sevens like I'm kind of like I, I'm borderline trashy I'm like kind of white trash but I have had seven I've realized which my friends were sevens that I really liked and sevens that I didn't over the years and it was like it's always like the sevens who you go out for I think they're social sexuals you go out for lunch with or something and they'll just start talking about like dildos and like taking it in the ass and like going into all these details and it's like can you like not there's like old people sitting beside us or something it's just like this fucking and and then I would, would stop hanging out with them because it's just like oh you're too embarrassing like even for me it's too much yeah do you talk about your dildos in public uh maybe do you get do you get <laughs> mad when other people do no no I don't I have less problems with that but also I have like no shame so yeah, <laughs> yeah. maybe different so what kinds of sevens do you like and or or not like? <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe if there's like a tree fix in the mix, then it gets like too much sometimes. You know, it's like too assertive and too pushy. And then I don't like it. But but I don't feel that with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's my nine. Yeah. It softens it all down. Yeah. <laughs> Mood. Yeah, no, but I like the energy matching. You know, I, I tend to collect people that have like the same frequency as me. So what you said, it's I like that to find that and also seek it out. But if I'm like a long time with those people, then it's like, oof, you know, yeah. I'm like friends with a lot of introverts also for this reason, because it's like, you know, then I'm like the most overbearing one and it's easier for me to be like, yeah. <laughs> then you okay, set the pace then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always like sevens too that uh, I've almost like gotten like where it's like, oh, we almost got arrested or we got kicked out of a party or like oh, all this. Yeah. Like, oh, now we're like socially exiled for ripping a painting off a wall and stomping. <laughs> something crazy like that it's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like always sevens especially seven nine well maybe like seven eight too but you get together and it's just like let's just fucking cause like mayhem <laughs> yeah i love that i love that now i want to go party <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Oh. you guys are the maybe the most um withdrawn seven right with nine and four yeah. so like that's interesting. I was, I bet the most common seven is probably a DJ seven, um, just because nine and three being attachment and stuff. It's, it's interesting. I think, and my mom's a seven. And I, I love sevens. I think they're grand fun. They just mm -hmm. bring me out of like, you know, whatever I'm in and mm -hmm. having and a seven more so you can, you know, yeah, have more fun. Yeah. And forget yeah. about the responsibilities of boring life. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, sevens okay. will get fired. <laughs> I think I have a friend who's a seven, like she types as a seven anyway, and I could probably see it, though she does have a lot of anxiety in a way that feels almost six ish. But um, like if you get in the way of her 
fun she's not fun you know what i mean mm. um like she there was like a party that she invited me to and it was like too much work it was it was an anything but clothes party that's i think i talked about this yeah. in the, um the server uh i didn't end up going to it i think she's like really upset that i ended up bailing on her um so i feel like she had like this idea in her head about that night and like mm -hmm. Um, and me not being there was like disappointing. Uh, made it yeah. not possible for that night to go how she wanted it to go, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think the seven being fun, it's, it's conditional, I think. So, yeah. Yeah. And also if you have like an, a certain expectation of something and then it's not what you would like you know in your head then you're yeah you might get hurt so I learned over the years to like not have any type of expectation about anything and if I want something I will create it myself because otherwise yeah, yeah. Frustration. yeah. that's why I don't really give mad at people for bailing on me with stuff or anything because it's like I just I'm like I don't whatever but it's like a yeah it is like what you said you kind of have to because they're it's too hard to manage the frustration stuff otherwise it's like um the the conditional thing makes a lot of sense to me because I noticed that um I, I can be like that sometimes and I don't really like it uh and it is I think it's a frustration thing for sure it's like mm -hmm. we're gonna have like so much fun we're gonna do it like my way and <laughs> Yeah, and then people which are stupid ideas ruining all your plans. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can feel that. I think sevens like to have control of because you're like, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, in a way, yes. I want to realize too. I didn't realize I was controlling up until like the last like year or two. I was like, holy fuck. Yeah, it's painful. Mm -hmm. To see that you're actually not so easy going and very overbearing. <laughs> yeah, it's like fuck no am I really like that I'm not like that right oh yes you are yeah it's more like idealization yeah. yeah and more like this is how it should be and this is not right yeah. I'm not sure if it was like Marshall posted it in type click about sevens depriving people as a means to like control uh, it was like he made some kind of list about what those things are how people manipulate or something and it was and I was like I don't think I do that like deprive people and then I started realizing oh yeah I, I, that's totally a tactic I subconsciously have used over the years to oh like you're not going to do what I want then uh or exactly how I want it which I may not have even told you because I have a nine six <laughs> well you're just out like <laughs> mm -hmm. so like deprive them of yourself yeah oh interesting yeah I feel like th that's what my friend is doing now <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, well, you don't have access then to all the magic. <laughs> I'm super fun yeah. and you're not, so bye. Uh -huh.